welcome back to my channel Lucia here from Laughing Without an Accent and today I have the April Unplugged book bags woohoo I didn't know if I was getting this but they generously sent me one for review I am so so appreciative and thankful thank you Melanie and uh, it comes in a white box because they are redesigning the boxes and um, so they didn't want to print more of the old ones and have extra so they're just doing plain ones for now until they get the new design so that's pretty cool okay let me see how i open this so i was trying to open it yesterday and i opened it completely wrong okay there you go so the theme for this month young adult box is uh creativity when you open it up it looks like this and this is 37.99 plus shipping they started out with a young adult literature box and then they branched out to adult literature as well so if you're not into a young adult and you want something more for your you know age or stage in life then you can you have that option as well and there's usually new releases um and they have a signature you get like a there's usually a signed book plate um so yeah and the items are amazing so the theme is creativity and here we have all the items in the back and it says oh no that doesn't say, doesn't say much but here we have it. The first thing I see smells so good is Wanderlust, and this is a bath bomb. Wanderlust by Jen Malone is every traveler's dream. Aubrey Sattler is taken on an adventure through Europe, eating her fair share of fun goods, including gelato, which inspired this bath bomb, and falling for the cute guide in the process. This bath bomb was created exclusively for Unplugged by Nature's Whimsy. Okay, I haven't. Um, Red Wanderlust, but it sounds really interesting. I want to put it on my TBR. So look how beautiful this looks. That is adorable. It smells really yummy. Next up, we have Louise LeBlanc. It's a candle. Louise LeBlanc from Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mohin. Mahorin is one creative witch. Her methods of thinking and behavior are unique and make her a fun character to read about. Serpent and Doves in this month's Bottle of the Fandoms winner. Oh, sorry, Serpent and Doves is this month's Bottle of the Fandoms winner. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, this cinnamon buns and magic. It does smell like cinnamon. And look inside you have it's black and and uh, it has some gold glitter. That is really cool. It smells really yummy. We have this notebook and it has I think Dexter it says do I see sheets of plastic in your future <laughs> that's very ominous so it's a lined notebook with a pen next up we have becoming uh, becoming an artist is a reckless act of insanity and we have some pens with a pencil sharpener I love it they are an unplugged exclusive inspired by and we're off by Dana Schwartz a story that follows a young artist as she travels through Europe sketching beautiful drawings. So, always useful to have around as well. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take the squiggles out so I don't miss anything. Oh, we have a print. You are just a saint as I am by Luna Lovegood. From, that is really pretty and you can color this. Uh, from Harry Potter. Luna's bedroom coloring print by... Asura Arts. That is really pretty. I love it. Next up, we have a The Trees Speak Latin. This is inspired by the Raven Cycle by Maggie St Steve Bader. And it's a group of friends that go on a fantastical quest. And each character is creative in their own way. So we have a food soak and they all speak Latin. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so it was, it's done by Crunchy Mama, exclusively for Unplugged, sorry. Next up, we have Creative Goals for April 2020, um, so that's pretty cool, it's something that you can fill in, and on the other side, we have the importance of creativity, self-awareness on expression, trusting our instincts, stress relief, freedom, problem solving and your creative homework, it's this on the back. Next up we have, oh this is really pretty, um, the author wrote, keep going, you're on the edge of something wonderful. And there's also a letter from the author, hey shh. 
And on the other side, we have the uh, playlist, the music playlist and songs for this story. So that is so awesome. Okay, May, um, for young adult would be validation, the theme, and then for item reveal, it's a unique bookish exclusive chicken gadget. So that is awesome. Okay, now we're into the book and it always comes wrapped super beautiful. We have this book is The Edge of Anything by Nora Shalloway Carpenter. Look how pretty this cover is. This looks so amazing. And I was reading about it yesterday on Goodreads because I wanted to see what it was about and it looks like it's um, super beautiful. This is about Len. She's a loner teen photographer haunted by a past that stagnated her work and left her terrified. She's losing her mind. Sage is a high school volleyball star desperate to find a way around her sudden medical disqualification. Both girls need college scholarships. After a chance encounter, the two develop an unlikely friendship that enables them to begin facing their inner, de inner demons. But both Len and Sage are keeping secrets that, left hidden, could cost them everything, maybe even their lives. Set in the mountainous outskirts of Asheville, North Carolina, this gorgeous own voices novel explores grief, mental health, and how the transformative, po transformative power of friendship can help us find ourselves in the goodness in life, even when everything feels broken. The, what's funny is that the book, not last month, but the previous month, <laughs> Together We Caught Fire, uh, I loved it. Together We Caught Fire was the February's box and it was amazing, so beautiful. It, it also dealt with mental health and it was set in Asheville, North Carolina. So it's funny that this is also set in there, but it sounds like it would be a really, really good read. So we have the book, some pencils, the Luna Love Good print to color, the food soak, so you have everything for a nice time, and the playlist, the signed book plate, and some information and creative homework. So that was everything in the box, you guys. I think it's amazing. I can't wait to read this book. I think it's right up my alley, so I'm excited. I haven't had a time to read the previous month's book, but I did read Together We Cut Fire, and I'm actually giving it away with a bunch of other goodies in the next giveaway. I'm sharing that because I thought it was a really nice book. So thank you so much for joining me. Excuse having the kids here today. I'm trying to do some videos without as much as I can, but sometimes I have to. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you read, what you like to read, what genre you like to read. And yeah, thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.